sleep on a sofa, I guess. You should have gone home. <sighs> no. Wanted to be here for Laura in case she got any news on Jim. Did you get some sleep? Hmm. No, not much. Laura was up all night. She went to bed a few hours ago. Oh. For you. The way you like it. thought by now that you and I would be having breakfast in bed as husband and wife. I know. I know, but stuff happened. Mm-hmm. I was hoping we'd get all that resolved at the end, but, uh, you know, Roman showed up. I wish you hadn't left when he did. Oh. Three's a crowd. I'm so sorry. I'm beginning to wonder if... I'm the one who's making this situation so difficult. Well, because I have been... been focusing on how all this has affected me. And I've kind of lost sight of... what it's doing to you. I'm really sorry if I'm adding to your pain. I just love you. But then, Roman... Uh, it's, it's okay, I, I understand. You know, I, I, I realized something else, too. It's, uh... Roman's changed. He's, um... It's not letting his pride get in the way this time. He's made it clear that he loves you. That he wants to marry you. And he has... He's given you your space so you can make your own decision. And me, on the other hand, I've done the opposite. I've been putting a lot of pressure on you. You've got every right to be impatient after all we've been through. We had to deny our love because of Kristen's lies. And then you... You saw me getting closer to Roman. Well, you know, you were married. You, uh... have a couple beautiful kids. You, uh... A lot of fine memories. We were married. We have fine memories. We have a beautiful daughter. John. Any news about Jen? No. <laughs> 